Hi guys, it's Aga from Arvis Artist and today I will teach you how to correctly map wood panels like this. It causes troubles for many artists and this is one of the most frequent questions I receive. Let's jump straight into 3ds Max. This is the model we will use as an example. We usually get models like this from a client in the form of one object. I will show you how to deal with it, but first, we need a wood material. Choose the one you like, but remember that it has to have a seamless texture. Let me show you my texture. When I scale it down, there are no visible seams. Now, I will add an UVW map modifier to my object. Let me rotate this. In this case, there is a problem with tiling. It's not so visible in the curved model. Let me show you how it looks on a flat model. There is an obvious styling going on. Everyone will notice that it looks fake. Let's come back to our model. Let me show you a correct process. I will remove the UVW modifier I added before. In the first step, we have to detach each element to separate objects. I will use a script. It will be much quicker. I will add links to the scripts in the description below. Once each element is detached, I will use a random UVW map script. We have to change type to box and adjust custom size. I will use the same size here as I did before with a standard UVW modifier. When it's set up, click create UVW map. Now, you can see that each element has its own UVW modifier added, but the tiling is still present. To fix this, just select them all again, check Tiled Map, and click Random Position. Now, each UVW modifier is in a different position relative to the object. If you want to make it more random, you can do it again. When it's done, attach all the elements together. I will use the Quick Attach script. The last thing we have to do is to rotate all the UVs so our texture is vertical. Use the UVW X4 modifier and rotate it by 90 degrees. Awesome, now it looks perfect. I will show you a different example so you are prepared to every situation. Here is a bit of different situation. One side is mapped correctly and another is rotated by 90 degrees. In this case, if we use the UVW X form modifier and rotate it by 90 degrees, the problem won't be fixed. We just flip it. To fix this, we have to select only two sides of polygons. Make sure you select chamfer edges as well, if you have them. The fastest way is to go to the left view and select them all at once. If you have a curvy model, you will have to use lasso or fence selection models instead. Once you have it selected, add X4 modifier and rotate it by 90 degrees. then collapse it to editable poly. Perfect. We'll make it even better. We can make it even more random if you like. Go to the material editor. I will start interactive rendering so you know what I am doing. We'll add a map to randomize the color of each element. I 
am using Corona, so I will use Corona Multimap Texture. Don't worry, you can do the same thing in V-Ray. This map applies different colors to the object based on Material ID. To randomize Material ID, use Material by Element modifier. Choose Random Distribution and adjust the number of IDs you need. I think 8 is enough. Now, we have to adjust the item count in the map settings. I will copy the red color to each slot, because we will have just one texture later. You don't have to do it, it's just to show you how it works. Great! Now, let's add gamma randomizations. Let's start with 2%. Maybe a bit more. It makes the model way more realistic even with the red material. When you are more or less happy with the result, let's plug the wood map to every slot. In this case, gamma random value is too high. Let's decrease it. add a bit of random hue as well. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it will help you in the future projects. If you want to know the whole process of creating visualizations, I'd like to invite you to check out our visualization course where we teach you step by step how to create outstanding images. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!